Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Rafi. There's no reason to fire shadow here on the internet. And today, I'm coming back at you with the top five um, Kingdom, uh, my top five uh, worlds that I want to see come back in Kingdom Hearts 3. So, uh, let's get right into this. And before we do, actually, I just want to say these are my uh, favorite worlds. I'm basing them off of my favorites and what I loved as a kid and what I still love now. So, you guys can disagree, agree. Leave them down in the comment section below. What are your top five worlds you want to see in Kingdom Hearts 3? Without any further ado, let's get into it. Um, number co Coming in at number five, I want to see Agrabah. I love Agrabah. It's, probably, it's one of my favorites uh, from Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Uh, it was such a sick world. You know, I love the whole story of Aladdin. You know, I was always fascinated with it as a kid growing up. You know, like Aladdin get the, getting the genie and, you know, helping, like the genie helping him out, you know, kicking Jafar's uh, ass, you know, just kicking his ass and, you know, um, keeping the palace safe and stuff like that. I was always fascinated with Aladdin. It was an awesome movie. I loved it. It was, it was great. Um, that's why it comes in at number five for me. Coming in at number four, we have the Pride Lands. I love Simba. Simba, and this is one of my favorite, like Simba, uh, the Lion King movies are my favorite, uh, are one of my favorites um, in all of Disney. You know, I love, I grew up with um, Kingdom Hearts, what am I saying? What am I talking about? I grew up with uh, uh, Lion King 2, because it was, it was the one that I watched the most. I didn't really watch the first one that much, but I watched the, the, the Simba's Pride all the time. It was probably one of my favorite movies again of uh of like of all time i loved it it was great you know i love kovu and kiara's little like romance and how simba wouldn't approve and stuff like that i love the entire story of it i really hope they bring that back and have that story in there instead of you know the story of scar and simba's dad and all that stuff you know i want kovu and kiara to be in this next game i think it'd be really awesome if they did that i'd love it anyways coming in at number uh three we have the keyblade graveyard yes the Keyblade Graveyard, I, I think this is probably another one of my favorite worlds in Kingdom Hearts, is because it's such a badass world, you know? It's it's the be-all, end-all of boss battles in Kingdom Hearts. Nobody can tell me that they don't like the Keyblade Graveyard, because it's such an epic place, and it's... You guys know that and this is pretty much already confirmed that the Keyblade Graveyard is going to be where we have our final boss battle with um, Xehanort. We already know this. We probably... Like, it's, it's probably going to happen anyways. So I'm not really worried about that one coming back because I know it already is. I can already feel it. You know, there's no other place that they would want to have the uh, the final boss battle for Kingdom Hearts 3. It's got to be in the Keyblade Graveyard. It's so epic. Coming in at number two, we have Traverse Town and Twilight Town. The only reason I'm connecting the two is because I have a strong love for both of them. And I have a love for both of them equally. They're both awesome. And I'll tell you guys why um, I like them so much. So... I'll start with Twilight Town. Twilight Town, I, I don't know why. It seems like such, just the music in Twilight Town and all that stuff, it makes me happy, right? It makes me so happy. And I already know that it's probably coming back. Looking at this trailer here, which, by the way, this is some new gameplay footage that came out uh, of Kingdom Hearts 3. Looking at this, this is already tr uh, Twilight Town. So we already know that we're going to be visiting Twilight tr Town. Um, you know, we, we already know that. Twilight Town is going to be in the game. Uh, as for Traverse Town, I don't really know if that's going to be in the game. Probably. It, it should be in the game because it's very sentimental uh, to Sora. Because this is this is essentially, this is where we first met Sora, right? This was a huge part of the first game. Um, the second game, not so much. But still, it was a huge part of Kingdom Hearts 1. It's where we met Sora. It's where we first had a connection with him. And I think that it's sentimental, not only to me and to Sora. And like, I think it's sentimental to everyone. Anyone who says they don't like Traverse Town was lying to you. You know, everyone has to love it because this is where you first... This is where it all begins, you know? Everything is just... I, I don't know. I, I can't... Words can I even begin to describe my love for Traverse Town and Twilight Town. I love these worlds. They're probably, like, they're so close to being my favorites. And coming in at number one, you guys should know me by now. It's Winnie the Pooh, 100 Acre Wood. This is by far my favorite level in Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, it's, it's just the best world ever. It's so... It's so, like... Um, nostalgic for me because I used to watch Winnie the Pooh all the time on TV, and you know I had a Winnie the I had Winnie the Pooh uh, a stuffed bear that I used to you know sleep with every night, and I I loved Winnie the Pooh everything about it I I love it you know uh, from Tigger to Piglet and you know 
uh, Pooh himself. They're just such brilliant characters, and you know, it really just makes me happy seeing these characters back in in the in Kingdom Hearts 2. I was so happy. I was sad. Like I actually shed a tear when I had to at the end, like when I left uh, Winnie the Pooh. Um, when you finish Winnie the Pooh's world, I, I actually shed a tear when I when I heard Sora say, "I'm always with you," you know, right in here, and he's like. I won't. I, I know. I'm gonna, I know. I'll see you again, Sora. You'll be right in here with me. I actually like. I cried. I was so like. I cried when I was a kid when I did that. When I saw that, and then I cried like just you know when I played this. Uh, when I played the 2.5 remix uh, of Kingdom Hearts 2, it was, uh, it was great. It was great. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's my top five worlds that I want to come back in Kingdom Hearts. Uh, three those worlds are my favorite so let me know down in the comment section below do you guys agree with my list do you guys not agree with my list what worlds do you guys want to see come back in the in the kingdom hearts uh, three and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it so thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again soon on another kingdom hearts video thanks guys take it easy bye Keyblade Sensor ロスト